During this pandemic, a lot of us have been longing for the return of our favorite sports, whether that be baseball, golf, women's soccer, or really anything else. KIMT News 3's George Mallet joins us now with a look at one sport that never closed down completely and is planning to come back in a big way, horse racing. Yeah, Katie, there will be fans in the grandstand, too, at the Kentucky Derby. Now, I may be something less than an objective reporter on this topic. I've made no secret of my obsession with great racehorses. I've shared pictures of me mounted on the grandson of Secretariat. I grabbed off the racetrack after he finished a great racing career. And I've traveled to New Mexico to shoot a piece about 2009 Kentucky Derby winner, Mind That Bird, where I was given a leg up to shoot a few pictures on the strapping Bay Geldings back. Last Saturday marked the delayed Belmont Stakes in Elmont, New York. A lot was different. Instead of there being a roaring crowd, there were no fans at all. Announcer Larry Colmas did his best to fill the moment with excitement as uber-talented Tis the Law became the first New York-bred horse to win the Belmont Stakes since the 19th century. The New York hero, Tis the Law, and Manny Franco to win the Belmont Stakes! They took it by four lengths in the end. Horse racing has been forced to take a practical approach to this pandemic. On June 10th, Canterbury Downs in Shakopee, Minnesota resumed racing, and morning gallops have continued to keep fleet-footed Minnesota-based steeds in top. But what we've been able to do is draw from racetracks that are running right now or that are training right now around the country, kind of take the best practices. Horse racing has been dealt a series of devastating black eyes in recent years. Just over three months ago, federal authorities indicted 27 horse racing professionals, accusing them of drugging their equine athletes to deceive the betting public. Today's allegations against 27 individuals in the horse racing industry shines a light on the severity of their crimes and the impact of those crimes on the horses. But during the pandemic, when other sports have been dormant, horse racing has garnered a larger audience. Both Fox Sports 1 and NBC Sports Net have been broadcasting weekend races. And today, word broke that this year's delayed Kentucky Derby will take place with fans in the grandstand at storied Churchill Downs. We have to look forward and say, what do we want to accomplish in two months? How do we bring people to the track in a safe and effective way? And how are we respectful of what's been happening uh, around the country? And, uh, and just move forward. Perhaps of far less importance to sports fans is whether this truly dominant colt, tis the law, will be able to sweep all three jewels of the disrupted triple crown and whether such an accomplishment would be accompanied by an asterisk. And make no mistake about it, tis the law is an amazing horse. He has won five of six starts with speed, speed figures that are off the charts. He is trained by Barkley Tag, who guided Funny Side to wins in the Kentucky Derby and Preakness Stakes. Tag is one of the true good guys in the sport of Kings who does everything the right way. Now, yesterday it was announced that Tis the Law will perform stallion duty for Ashford Stud when his racing career comes to an end. All right, thanks, George. The Colts' owners plan for Tis the Law to run in the Travers Stakes on August 8th, the September 5th Kentucky Derby, and the October 3rd Preakness Stakes before wrapping up the year in the Breeders' Cup Classic, November 7th.